Fiji get us underway. And it is a wild shot first. And a big chance for New Zealand early on, and it's Geordie Ditford who has a shot saved by Kitione Baleloa. This was Newski's ball that found a free running Ditford. And his shot was at a comfortable height for Baleloa. Strong challenge, and Fiji have an opportunity here. Antimanov was quick to come out at the feet of Sitariki Hughes. It's a big collision. Little kick out there from Baravilala. He's not happy with that decision. And it's a yellow card. And Insult to injury, Casey Sharplin with the first goal. Ethan Martin, rather. Well, it was sharp interplay between Casey Sharplin and Ethan Martin. Baleloa just left his near post. Chance. Got a connection on that. And it's in the back of his own net. And it's Dave Rodriguez. Rahan Ali was lurking. He didn't know much about it, did Rodriguez. We've seen teams come back from two goal deficits before. Very nearly a third. Off the post. Calls for a handball. There's Jordy Ditford. Just looking to link up with Wojewski on the far side. Jerry Sam. A couple of months away from the summer months. Well, a casual hand there from Mike Antimanov. Very nonchalant save. It was a great strike. There he is on the ball again. It's a can shoots from distance, and it's too hot for Antimanov to handle. Well, they've got their eye in from distance, have Fiji. Can they follow that up with? Opportunities here, another shot. That's Sitariki Hughes. Another call for handball. This time not as fervently as the earlier calls. Pickin. Oh, it's great futsal from New Zealand. Pickin finds Ditford on the back post. And Ditford just had to stick a foot out and changed the direction of that pass, which was fizzed in. It was Manikam all the way across to Pickin, and his first time ball found Ditford on the back post. Baleloa got a hand to it, but not enough to keep it out of his goal. So New Zealand lead 3-0. Could we see another Van Hawkins? He's given it away. A square pass finds Fiji on the counter. Here's Ramzan Khan, and he pulls one back for Fiji. Well, they can't afford to be casual in New Zealand futsal whites. A square pass picked off. Straight through the heart of the court and found Ramzan Khan and his finish was over. Mike Antimanov. It's Matani Siga waded into the path of an advancing Ramzan Khan and a good finish. So goals at either end in quick succession. And Aliloa 
going the wrong way, just thrust up a left hand and pushed it over the bar. Great goalkeeping from the Fijian number one. Well, it's a sharp save. Great work from the team on the floor down in front of me at Bruce Pullman Arena. Certainly some of the crowd believed that Fiji had pulled another goal back. But the score remains 3-1 in favour of New Zealand's Futsal Whites. Good win there from Setariki Hughes. Thought about shooting. And as he was thinking, Casey Sharplin robbed him. And Sharplin was lurking. Clean outbreak. And that is half-time. Entertaining first period here, which sees the team in black New Zealand leading Fiji by three goals to one. Chance for was Newski squares it across. It could be the second own goal, or was it Rahan Ali? We will wait and see. Ali gets the credit from his teammates. Let's take a look at the replay and see if we can spot the last touch. It was Wisniewski down the left, squared it across. Yes, I do think it was Rahan Ali. With that vital touch in front of Felipe Bravilala. What was it? Take New Zealand long to get back into their work. Oh, and it's a great shot from distance. Logan Wisniewski. He saw Baleloa off his line. And in off the crossbar. Well, a magnificent piece of skill from Wisniewski. Looking to find Twig again it was Casey Sharplin. It's broken for Sharplin. He pulls the trigger. And it flies past Baleloa in the Fiji goal. New Zealand are rampant at the start of the second period. They've scored three goals in quick succession. Broke for Sharplin, and he didn't need a second invitation to New Zealand's number 14. It nestled in the corner of Fiji's net. I made mention at half time. As a shot from distance, whistled past Antimanov to intended for Adam Poulsen. Shot on target. Maliloa. Flings himself at the feet of Rahan Ali. There's a little bit of uncertainty going around Bruce Pullman Arena prior to this match, wondering whether BG will trouble New Zealand in this match given their opening day win against Tonga. Win was maybe put into perspective when Anuatu put 20 goals on Tonga. And that is a delightful finish from Geordie Ditford. presence of mind to just chip the ball over the advancing Mori. Mori Rangata comes a long way. If he gives it away, he's in trouble, and he has done. And Paulson just not able. And a goal for Fiji. Vita Waranevalu. Shot from distance. I think he's flicked that off the inside of his heel. Time for one last shot. If this is going to end. And it does. With New Zealand triumphing. Triumphing. Seven goals to two over Fiji sending a message to those in Group B. They are the team to beat. Well, Jordan, uh, great win today against Fiji. Um, how do you feel the, the team went? 
yeah, I think we put in a pretty good performance yesterday. We weren't too happy with some of the goals we conceded yesterday. So um, it was good to like clean that up a little bit and really put together. It was a bit of a different game plan today because they came out and pressed us a lot more. But yeah, it was solid performance all around. Got a bit physical there at times. Yeah, I mean, we expected it to be physical, as most of this tournament is, and when you get to the higher level it is, so it's a lot different to National League, but I think the boys stepped up pretty well today. And considering the preparation, because it was a bit limited, um, the team's travelling well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we've had people come back in from overseas, so that's definitely played a part. Um, two games in China definitely helped as well, and I think we're just finding our feet here as well, but two games in, we're looking pretty good now. And uh, also qualified for the knockout phase now, so... Uh, must be pleased about that. Yeah, it's good to get it done early. Um, got a rest day tomorrow and then Tong on Wednesday. It'll be another hard battle and we want to finish top, so we'll be out in full force. Well, congratulations on the